Hey everybody, Reef Girl here. If you follow my channel, you might know that we have an outdoor goldfish pond and the fish stay out all winter. They have this heater. Well, they had this heater. It fried two nights ago and we didn't realize this till yesterday morning when it was frozen over, the pond that is. And here's the culprit. I uh, did some reading and we learned perhaps the reason behind this, but in the meantime, we have to do something to keep the water open because we're not gonna be getting another one that we've ordered until five days from now. We had been using the handy broom handle to poke big holes in the ice, but apparently that is not good for the fish because it startles them. Somewhere on YouTube, we saw an idea to float a steel bowl on top of the ice and fill it with hot water to melt through. So that's what we've done here and now it's frozen in place. I apologize, I don't know the YouTube source for that. Here it is melted through and I've moved the bowl sideways a little bit so that I can add more hot water and perhaps open up another hole and now there's crackling um, all throughout. You can hear it working its way through the ice. So today's Friday, temperature is supposed to be above zero over the weekend and then drop again on Sunday. Heater arrives Tuesday. We could be back at this again Sunday or Monday and hopefully the fish will survive. Um, some of these guys are 14 years old this summer. Um, others are seven or eight years old, I forget. And it would really be a shame to lose them. They're beautiful goldfish. I really love having them. And uh, the heater, although we've had it for five years, um, it's, it never breaks when it's convenient, does it? It turns out it isn't just the heater that needs replacing. This is the socket from a weather sealed outdoor box that has a couple switches on it. And you can see that it's pretty corroded and fried. The lower outlet went a couple years ago and so we just plugged the heater into the upper outlet not realizing what was actually going on and now this one has really burned. So now that has been replaced and when the heater arrives we'll plug it in and hopefully we'll be good to go. So thanks for watching and if you're interested I will post an update once the new heater is in.